today's session. We're going to get started. We have some strength work today. So grab a bell, make it a weight that's kind of challenging for you. We're going to be working the entire body. So we've got upper or lower, we're hitting it all. And of course, at the end, we have our booty and core circuit. So get ready for that. If you have a band, a booty band, make sure you bring that with you, something like this. If you have the rubber loops and you want to use the loops, I don't have a loop in the basket, but you're welcome to use the loops. I much prefer, prefer a hip band. I find more success with them. And I think that they're just way more comfortable. So we're going to go ahead and get started with a little bit of mobility work. So just start with some big shoulder circles for me. I've got tunes in my ears. So if you are like, I really want some music. I'm not giving you music today. Let's reverse those shoulder circles. You get to choose your own music, which I think has its pros and cons. Feel free to check out my playlist on Spotify. There's lots of different like kettlebell focus playlists. There's a kettlebell, a country kettlebell playlist. There's different genres all over the place. All right, let's get some bear hugs in there. We're going to do our neck a little bit too, more of a focus there, uh, just because I feel like my neck lately has been aching, y'all. And I'm going to try to turn off the light and see what happens. Y'all keep going with those shoulder circles. I think it's going to make it worse if I like, or maybe not. That might actually look kind of pleasant. I have a bird over here who's going to fly out of her nest when she sees me open these blinds. All right, guys, let's get into our neck a little bit. So tilt your ear from one shoulder to the neck. Keep going like that. I'm going to try turning off the light, see what happens. Uh, that's a little dark, isn't it? Is that dark? Yeah, that's dark. All right, let me turn the light back on. <laughs> and start to get into some neck rolls here. So pretend you have a paintbrush on your chin. Take it up, over, down, over to the other side, and back up. Keep going like that. As y'all can tell, I'm in a new space. So this is actually downstairs. And I'm trying to pack up upstairs. Let's go the opposite direction. I am in the process of <laughs> potentially moving and just kind of gently do some rolls, y'all. As I mentioned, like my neck really, I think I slept wrong. My neck really hurts lately. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna do some hinges. So we're gonna hinge. You might need to widen your feet a little bit. Push those hips back, back, butt back. We're going to turn into a squat and we're going to push up through the feet. So hinge, squat, and push up. Awesome. We're going to stay down in our squat a second. We're going to take our elbows to the inside of our knees, pushing our knees towards our elbows, pushing our elbows out here. And you can rock from one ball of the foot to the other ball of the foot. Now place your left hand down. You're on the ball of your left foot. You can reach up and you can flip your hand. Take it on the outside of your back. It feels so good. Take it back up and switch sides. Couple more. Might hear some pops and crack. One more each side. Awesome. All right, push on out of that 
shake it out. So what we've got, we have three circuits technically. Circuit one working strength, circuit two working strength, circuit three is our booty and core circuit. So Ooh. we're working 30 seconds on, but then we have a 30 second rest. So you have a lot of rest time here today. And that's because we're really focused on strength. So I really want you to focus on giving it your all, lifting heavy, and then we get to rest and recuperate. Remember, you want to, you want to, you want to start somewhere and be able to grow from that position. So whether that's in reps, that's in weight, that's in time, lowering your rest time, upping your work time, however that works. Just remember, we don't need to go like balls to the walls this very first session, but I do want it to feel like it's challenging you, okay? So our first movement we've got, a back lateral raise. So we're gonna pick up our bells in our right hands. In our right hand, you can lean on a wall if this is more comfortable for you. You're gonna raise that bell up. If you need to, you can lean slightly on like your hip, left hands on your thigh. Raise, raise. So that palm is split back. And this is a tiny movement here, raising that bell up, okay? Second move, we're gonna go for a curl to press to tricep extension. So we're gonna pick up that bell. Elbows are close to your ribs. You're going to go for a curl, press it up, tricep extension, and bring it back down, okay? Curl, press it up, extension, and bring it back down. After that, we have a front raise. <laughs> so as you can see, we're really hitting all the upper body here. Front raise, you're gonna go for, pick up your belt. Elbows are tucked close to your sides. Bell comes up in front of your chest. Bell comes up in front of your chest. Now you can hold it like that if the bottom's up, or it's gonna be a little bit easier if you hold it like this with the bottom of the weight down. Okay, so that's what we've got. We'll take a quick second. I'm gonna set our clock for us. We're gonna start with the, with the back lateral raise on the right side. Lateral raise, uh, lat raise, not a lateral raise, y'all. When I say tap, uh, y'all, when I say lat, I'm talking about your latissimus muscles back here that run down your back, okay? When I say lat, I don't mean like a lateral raise. I know that those can get confusing. Okay. We are going to set our timer. So you have 30 times, four moves, or three moves, four times. We got this. We got this. All right, y'all, let's go ahead. In 10 seconds, we're going to get started. Pick up your weight. Two, one. Let's go. Let's go. He's very loud. So remember, you can lean against something. If you have a chair and it's easier, it's totally fine. Whatever is most comfortable for you. You want to eliminate any kind of shake here. So you don't want to be like, Ugh. like swinging type of movement. You're controlling the raise and the lower. Set it down. All right, we're going to go into that curl. to an overhead press to that tricep extension. When you're extending, make sure those elbows stay close to your head. You don't want them like flared out here and you're extending. You want to bring them in so that they really work those triceps, okay? Take a big breath. We're going to get our weights up. Ready? Curl, press, extend. Let's go. Curl, press, tricep extension. Bring it back down. Curl. Curl. 
Finish this one, y'all. Rest. Bring it on down. Perfect. Good job. Hey. Two moves down. One to go. We are going to go into that front raise, which for 30 seconds is going to feel like killer. But y'all got this, okay? Promise. Woo. When you're front raising, make sure that that bell doesn't come higher than your chest. There's no need for that. We just need to bring it directly in front of our chest and lower it back down. Ready? Pick up the bell. Elbows start tucked into your sides. Raise and lower. Really push through your feet, tighten your core. Awesome, guys. All right, you've done circuit number one. You have to do that three more times. <laughs> we got that, though. We can do that. I really hope my lighting turns out okay. I much prefer if I can do natural lighting, but the way that things are positioned down here, I don't have that availability. All right, we're going back into our raise on the left this that this time set it down good job guys yeah, so as I was saying, so I actually have, um, I'm moving, right? I don't think that that does anything. Okay. Yeah, so I'm getting ready to move and everything. So I've just been trying to block off the upstairs because there's no need for it right now. Ready? We're going back into that curl of the press. Let's go. And an extension. <laughs> Did y'all see my shirt? Curl, press, tuck those elbows in, extend. Curl, press, extend. We'll fix our shirts during our rest. Rest. All right. Good job, guys. So we're going back into our front raise. It's great if you have like a couple of options of weight. All of mine are at the studio. But if you do have a couple of options for weight, it's just great to be able to alternate between those when it starts to feel like way too heavy. All right, we've got our front raise ready. Let's go. So that is round two done. We're halfway there. We've got to do this two more times. That's it. That's it. I feel like we're just breezing through this. Which is totally cool. All right, we're going back to that raise. But this time we're going back to our right side. Ready? Pick it up. Let's go. Raise it up. Make sure your shoulders are squared off, your chest is up, your eyes are up. Rest. 
and set it down. Good job, guys. Okay. That's the last time we have to do that side. <laughs> um, we have our curl to press to the extension again. So go ahead, just get ready for that. As you're resting, you know, grab your water. Make sure you're kind of stepping it out. We don't want to just like stay on still waiting. Like, no, that's giving your body a chance to cool down. We want to keep the blood pumping, keep the heart rate up, right? Pick it up. Let's go. Curl. Press. Extend. Bring it down. and set it down. Awesome. All right, we have our front raises next. Breathe, step, step, <laughs> do a dance. Mm, bad habit. Inviting. All right, ready? Go ahead, pick up your weights, get ready. Getting into our front raise. And raise it up. Set it down. Awesome. Okay, guys, we have to do our left side next with that raise. This is the last time we have to do that raise, which is awesome. This is your last round for circuit number one, okay? So really push here. Go ahead, pick that bell up. Left hand, left side. Ready, go. and rest. Woo, step it out, guys. I'll be right back. Okay. Cool. <laughs> cool. We have one more curl press with an extension, okay? Whew. Deep breaths. Stretch. Do what you need to do. Go ahead, pick up your bell. Going back into it. Fix your socks. Curl. Press it up. Elbows close and extend. Bring it back down. Curl. Press it up. And bring it down. Awesome job. Okay, we have one more move. Get ready. We're going to go back into that front raise, which I know kind of sucks, but we only have to do it one more time, so it's not that bad. We can make that happen. In 10 seconds, guys, we're going back into it. Go ahead, get it to your weight. Pick it up. Front raise. <laughs> I feel like my hands are slipping. Ooh, set it 
it down. Woo, shake it out a minute. Y'all shake it out. Y'all get some water. Y'all just kind of keep it moving, but keep your eyes on me. So we have circuit number two. We have a bent over row. We're going to start on the right side. Bells between your feet. You pick up your bell. You're going to bend forward, row that bell to your hip. Okay? You don't have to be all the way down here. You can be up here, left hand resting on your thigh. You can be on a wall or a couch if that's more comfortable. But we are rowing that bell up towards your hip. We're not rowing it up here towards your armpit. Roll that shoulder back and down. Point that elbow towards the back and row. Okay? Movement number two, we have a lying chest press. What do we have after that? Okay, cool. Yeah, we have a lying chest press. Your other two moves are going to be down here on the floor. So come on down. Grab your bells. Bell is right over your chest. Elbows are close to your sides. Press it up. Pull it down. Press it up. Pull it down. Create the tension. Your third move is a lateral pullover. Head and neck can rest down. Bell goes up. Teeny, teeny, tiny bend in your elbows. You are dropping your arms straight back as low as you can while maintaining your back, being on the, low, on the uh, ground. And then you're pulling that bell back overhead. So drop your arms, keep your lower back pressing into the ground, and pull it back up, okay? and then we'll switch on your bent over row on the other side. Make sure in your lateral pullover, that lower back is glued to the ground. If you're arching and you can fit anything under your back, you need to tuck your pelvis, make sure that lower back stays in the ground. And if you're pulling that bell over and you notice your back is coming off the ground, you might need to decrease your range of motion. So maybe you can only go right here and then that lower back starts to arch. That's cool. Go right here, pull it back up. Make sense? If you can get it all the way to the ground without your lower back coming up off the ground, awesome, do it. But if you can't, no big deal. Decrease your range of motion. All right, I think that that gave y'all plenty of time to rest. So we're gonna start with those bent over rows on the right side. Get our timer set up. What is there? What do you call this? Chat. Ads, y'all. Okay. We're going in 10 seconds. Let's get into it. Bell starts underneath your hips between your feet, bend down, pick it up, hinge slightly, and row that bell up towards that hip. Chest is proud, eyes are forward. That elbow is going back, okay? That bell is going towards that hip. Come on down to the ground. We have 30 seconds, so you have plenty of time to get here. We're going into that chest press in a moment. Grab your bell, lay it on back. Lower back stays into the ground on this one. Elbows stay closely tucked to your side. We're gonna press it up and pull it down, go. Let's go. Maybe you can go heavier here and go lighter on the lateral pullovers. The rest of my bells are at the studio, so I'm going to just stick with this one. Awesome. You can drop that to the side just to kind of give yourself a chance to rest, relax, recuperate. 
we're going into those lateral pullovers. Just breathe, regain control of your breathing here. The point with strength is to really focus on your recovery versus like when we do our endurance workouts, right? Go ahead, lay on back down, pick up your bell, pull over. Remember to keep that lower back into the ground. Oof. <laughs> and drop it down. Stand up very slowly. We're going to switch to pin over rows on the left side now. Um, but what I was saying was like with our endurance workouts, you know, we're constantly moving, constantly moving, but we're not lifting as heavy. The goal is to learn to recover faster. Here, it's more about lifting heavy, really putting a lot of stress on the muscles. Get back to your row, grab the bell. Let's go. And row. Left side, left hip. North Carolina cannot tell what it wants to do. It's been raining. It's been sunny. It's just a mess. But we love it. We love our state. And rest. Look, I love my state, but I'm really pissed off lately at the way that prices are going, but I feel like that's everywhere. Um, y'all don't know about my situation with why I'm moving and everything, but let me just tell y'all right now, it is hellish. <laughs> it is hellish. Get on down. We're going to go for that chest press. Ready? Lay it down. Press it up. Pull it down. Lower back into the ground here. Go ahead, grab your bells, come on down. You have less than 10 seconds to get there. Bell starts up. And for your pullovers, pull it up, tighten your core. Exhale. Keep going, guys. All right, what is happening? Moving like a lot of different notifications. And rest and come on up slowly. We're gonna go back to our right side for those um, pins over rows. Can't think, y'all. I can't think. Pieces of my rug. I love this rug, though. I love this rug. All right, ready? Bell starts between your feet. Pick it up in your right hand. Let's hinge and row. Eyes are forward, chest is forward. it down. Good job, guys. Woo! All right. We're more than halfway there now. 
Go ahead and make your way back onto the ground for that chest press. Get some water. You have less than 10 seconds. Come on down. Bell above your chest and press. Let's go. On those chest presses, I could 100% go heavier. I could honestly go heavier on the rows too. Um, logistics of teaching kettlebells, moving kettlebells around, it's a lot. All right, grab your bells, lay them back down. We're going back for that lateral pullover. Ready, bells up. Let's go. And pull up. These are really good for shoulder mobility too. Rest. Come on up slowly. We have one more round of these y'all. So we're gonna get back into that bit over row on the left side this time. Deep breaths in. Take a sip if you need it. After this, we've got our booty and our core, so get ready. If you have your hip bands, get them out. Set up, bend over row, pick up your bell, hinge it out, throw it up. Eyes are forward, chest is up, shoulders are back and down. Job, guys. All right, we're coming back down to the ground. Last time here. Come on down. Grab your bells. We're going into that final chest press. So if you haven't been lifting heavy, really push yourself here. Ready? Press. Let's go and pull. and just be able to have access to on demand but it is more work if I'm like planning programs so if you're subscribing to a program or doing a program I think that that really needs to be separate as far as speeds rest guys 
which is what I'm thinking, but I also want to make sure that things are accessible to a large population type of thing. All right, so we have our booty and our core circuit. So this is going to be a little bit different. We're going to work for four 45 seconds. We're going to only rest for 10 seconds. So we're going to switch back and forth between the moves. We have four moves. We're only going to cycle through them three times, okay? So if you've got your bands, get your bands. Your bands. Get your bands. We have... And you, if you don't have a band, no big deal, but you're going to put your weight onto your hips. We have hip bridges. So you're here, widen your feet. Sorry, the rug's messing me up. Widen your feet, point your toes out, bridge up and down and down. Eyes are up, hips are tucked, one straight line. Okay. After that, you're going to grab your weight above your chest, zombie crunches here. So you're crunching straight up. You're not crunching like out, like a regular crunch. You're just going up, tiny movement, down, up, tiny movement, down. Next, we're gonna do seated abductions. Feet come together, knees are wide, chest is proud, shoulders are down and back. You're going to pull your knees apart slowly bring them in, pull them apart, slowly bring them in. When you bring them in, you're not losing tension. You're not bringing them all the way in. You're just bringing them to where there's still tension maintained on this band and then out and in and out and in. Okay. Last movement is a Russian twist with your weight. If you want it, taking that weight from one hip to the other hip. Okay. Sound good? Lots, lots to do. So we're going to start with those hip bridges. Remember, we're working 24 seconds or excuse me, 45 seconds on. We have a 10 second rest, but we only have to do these three times through. So let's get set it, set up for our hip bridges. Ready? Bridge up, down. As soon as your butt touches the ground, you're popping it right back up. If you need to relax your neck, you can do that. you need something across your lap because the bell's hurting your groin, you can do that. It's totally fine. I'm feeling it. <laughs> Come down. Grab the weight. My bun is messing me up. Zombie crunches. Ready? Let's go. Straight up and down. If you need a second, I feel it in my neck, so I'm gonna just take a sec. Keep going guys, keep going, come on, you can do this. 
You can do this. Push. Push. Good job. All right, we're going into that Russian twist. I want your heels planted into the ground on these. See, curl back and twist. If at any point the weight becomes too much, <clears throat> you can drop it. like something fierce. All right, ready? We're going back into our hip. We're just... There's not a lot of time to just chill. Going guys, come on. Ten seconds. <sighs> and relax. My bun is really fucking me up. <laughs> it just is. Okay, ready? Zombie crunches. I don't change my band, lower it a little bit, and Let's go. go. Actually, I'm gonna pull that back up. There we go. On our Russian twists this time, I'm gonna go without. The weight just to show you guys what that would look like. Ten seconds. Rest. Woo! All right. So, those of you who are not using a weight for your twists, come with me. Set up, lean back, tuck your hips under, twist, hands touch the floor, twist, hands touch the floor. guys we have one more time of all these moves so set back up for your bridges last time best ones go
All right, guys. <laughs> Ready? We're going for our zombie crunches. Straight up. Go. I'm going with my people who are using weights for their Russian twist. This is the last movement, so push yourself here, guys. Ready? Go. Push your legs down, sorry. All right, let's take that right leg out. Bring that left heel in for a straddle. We're gonna reach. If you can't reach for your toes, reach for your shin or reach for your quad. Just don't put any pressure on your knee joint. We're gonna reach. And then if you can, reach your left hand over. Ooh, big stretch. All right, carefully walk it back in. You're gonna switch legs. Left leg goes out, right comes in. Grab your quad, your shin, or your toes, and reach over. All right, and come back in, guys. Straighten both legs out. Reach quads, shins, or toes. We're gonna bring our right heel in. We're gonna cross that foot over our left quad, and we're going to gently rotate. That's so good. <laughs> We're going to switch. So extend. 
extend that right leg, bring that left heel in and cross it over that quad and twist. And then you're going to find your way onto your feet ever so slowly and gently. There's your workout, you guys. I hope you did fantastic. I'll see you next time. Bye.